Hey guys, as promised, your video of the walkthrough of the Pace Aero 36D. Put your seat belts on and hang on for the ride. All right, here we are. And as you can tell, this is the front of the RV. Driver's compartment passengers compartment which now has all of my camera box in it uh, but you can see their backup camera yada yada there's the leveling system over there levels everything and <clears throat> it, you can probably see if I can get where you can see this TV alright big flat screen TV right there sorry about the light kinda of dealing with light from two different directions and <clears throat> let me see I can't even remember what all's in here that's just an open spot that right there is a big speaker that right there is a big speaker <clears throat> this is where the like DVRs and satellite stuff and antenna stuff and all that is um, it does have the uh, little thing for just the antenna to pick up regular TV if you you know if you can and you've got his and her lights on both sides. <clears throat> Here is the power, you know, what's going on with everything. Your power grid. If you've never seen one of those. That's the slide. This thing's got a big, huge slide on it, so it takes up a lot of power. You've got dual AC units and then, you know, the little grid thing that shows you what your uh, gray, black gray, and fresh and uh, gas reads right there. So, and you can see the air conditioning. There's that's an intake, and it needs to be cleaned. And then, well, we'll get to it because you can't see it because of the light. So, as you can see, kinda this thing has a slide that slides from. Oh, my finger's gonna come in here in a minute this right here all the way back to back there and that's why this RV is just hugely wide open super cool that's one of the reasons we got it so um, this couch right here folds out into a bed that's just a little footstool Here's an extra chair for chilling and watching TV. Um, we'll move into the kitchen area. There is the table. And it might make into a bed. I think it does, but I don't think we've ever used it for a bed. But I think it does make into a bed. That's, you just move, remove that pole. And it goes down in between here. And you take that pad and that pad and put it over the table right there, I think. But we don't really use it for much of anything. That's a big storage thing that goes the whole way, all the way back to there. Same on this side. So a lot of storage. And, of course, this doesn't even include the, you know, the garages down below. All the way to there. All right. So now... Let's turn and look at the kitchen area. You got a convection microwave. And also while I'm at it, I'm gonna throw this into you. We got surround sound speakers. Where's my finger? Right there is another speaker. So when you get this thing bumping, man, it, it can uh, it can make a, a, a almost a movie theater type stuff. It's pretty cool. All right, you got the sink right here. You know that currently has the typical little covers on it but it's a pretty good size you know deep sink um, automatic soap dispenser obviously there water and the little doohickey thing so and then oh gosh let's see if I can get all this stuff out of the way we have an extra ice maker to uh, get a lot of ice made and that thing right there works awesome I'll do a review on that 
it's like 24 pounds of ice in uh, in 24 hours or something crazy like that. So you got the gas cooktop, as you can see right here. Um, we mostly mostly do our cooking outside, but uh, so that's pretty cool. Same thing on the other side. Like I said, this is a convection microwave. Let's clear you out. So you can microwave, you can convection, you can convection and microwave, and then uh, you can actually put a little sensor uh, thing in it. That's cool right there. If you don't have one of those, you need to get it because this actually will hold knives traveling. You know, it, it's they're on there. So that's a pretty cool way to hold a knife. We have the um, washer and dryer. It doesn't do big, huge loads, but it does work. So you can put, you know, a few items in there, wash them, and then it'll drain, and then it'll uh, dry them too. So, all right. Now we have two issues that we're dealing with today. Here is our side-by-side uh, -side refrigerator. Problem is, it's not cooling. So, don't really know. My dad's an Arkansas State fan, so y'all don't pay attention to this Arkansas State stuff. He graduated from Arkansas State, so I guess he has to be a fan. All right, now, this is just a something that my mom gets, I guess, to sit out and watch the TV or something. Got another little thing of storage here that's pretty cool. This thing actually has quite a bit of storage. Like I said, the underside has all the garage doors as well. All right, then I'll show you one of the other problems we're having. This particular RV is a bath and a half. So this is a half bathroom right here. And it's got the fan up there and all that. But when you have a half bath, uh, you have to have a pump that pumps your stuff to your black tank. And therein lies the problem. We've got a pump that's hemorrhaging oozy, groozy stuff, which I'm not even going to get to talk about. So what we do when that happens is we have what we call a porta potty. This is the Thetford Porta Potty Curve or Thetford Curve Porta Potty, which I have a review. If I, I don't know that I've put that one on YouTube yet. If I don't have it, I'll um, do one. I, I know I've got one done. At least I might have lost it, but that's a whole nother. I'll do another one. This is just a cassette toilet that you separate the two. That bottom thing right there comes loose. It's real easy, and you just take it and you know to your like a bathroom whatever and you can dump it in there so that is your half bathroom this is a bath and a half all right now there is the doggy that is the little hellion she doesn't like being on to on the uh, camera right lily you don't like being on camera do you you don't like being on see she won't look at it lily lily she won't look at it. She hates being on camera. Okay. We got a uh, another flat screen TV. And all kinds of drawers and stuff. And this right here is nice. A little light comes on when you open it up. But you have your clothes in here. You know, they're not full length, um, length, but I don't think too many RVs do until you get up into the mega dollar ones. So, and then the bed, which has not been made yet. Got to put the uh, sheets on it and get all of the 9 million pillows that we have on there. You got overhead storage and some lights. This is also a slide. If you can see the um, the trim going around there. Where is my, I'm going to try to right going here and across. I'm trying to stay out of that light. This hole uh, right here slides out about three feet. Give you extra room. Pretty cool. Now, this door, these doors right here will close to separate 
you know, the master suite, if that's what you want to call it, from the rest of the uh, RV. And then you still have your own bathroom back here, which can be closed off by taking the door right there and sliding it that way. So you can have, I guess, three different rooms if you want. And then this is the master suite bathroom. It's got a uh, another toilet. Same situation. This one doesn't work either because of this pump thing. We fixed it, I don't know, about four months ago, and it broke again on last trip. And got a uh, fan as well. And don't look at me in the mirror. This is the full shower, and it's a good size shower, which is nice. You can, you know, you can fit a, a normal size human human being like myself in there. And and this is the uh, Pace Aero 36D, I think is what it's called. Now I'm gonna get in just to show you. I'm in. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can kind of see what what you're getting into here. But you can see, got room, right? No problem. You take this thing off, do your shower business, you know, do all that kind of stuff, or you can leave it up here, depending on how tall you are. It slides up like that and can literally you know if you're I'm, I'm 5 10 5 11 I can still take a shower and I'm not hitting everything with arms spread if that's what you want to call it you can see I got decent room for an RV so let me get out of here and we'll go back to getting me out of the camera so that is pretty much it if there's anything that you have questions about let me know um, this uh, is going to be the RV I'm going to be using on my life on the fun trip where I will take probably 60 days two months maybe 45 days it just depends and uh, go from where I live in the ten <coughs> Tennessee area down into South Florida I'm going to be fishing, I'll be paramotoring, I'm going to be do a, doing vlogging every day on what we're doing, and um, it'll, it should be a lot of fun. So if you're into paramotoring, if you're into uh, kayaking, definitely subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have some on my Doug Ford channel, I'm going to have some on my Life on the Fun channel as well. I got two that I'm, that I'm um, working with. Because I do a lot of other stuff. I don't want to get into that because I talk about it every time. But please subscribe to my channel. There should be one somewhere. Uh, probably, I think I put them over my right hand or my left hand shoulder. When I'm facing my camera. And then I do a link to my kayak uh, and my paramotoring, um, what you call it, uh, playlist. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the walk around tour of the RV. I'll do one more view from the captain's chair. All the way back to the back. And if you have paramotor somewhere in Mississippi, uh, Alabama, Florida, love to uh, come by and see you. Maybe we can fly together. If you kayak fish or do any kind of fishing, maybe down in Florida, places like that, love to uh, stop by and, and maybe go fishing with you. So y'all have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.